glad to hear that. Okay, so here, you're already pretty confident with all of this from studying that model. Okay, so I'll move on after the cricoid cartilage then. So it goes into the trachea, and this point right here is called the carina. The carina is the point of bifurcation, and there's actually a ridge on the inside as well, which is what's giving it its name. So it comes over here, you have your bronchia, bronchi. These are your primary bronchi. Now, where they separate off to go into each of the areas of your lungs, and this isn't very clear, but there's three secondary bronchi on this. And that's going to be here, here, and here, I believe. But it's not very clear on this model. And this is going to be your two secondary bronchi. Secondary bronchi split off the primary and are going to each lobe of the lung. Once you get to the lobes, then it separates out into your tertiary bronchi, which are going to various areas within it. And that's all you can really see on this particular model. Notice that there is no cartilage on the posterior side. That is not an uh, illustration of the model. It's actually like that. And that's because it allows expansion of the esophagus when swallowing food. So the trachea will actually push in and close all the way down as the esophagus passes by it. Or as the food passes by it through the esophagus. Okay. So that's it. I mean, if you're already pretty clear, with I'd be lying to say I'm not very clear with that, but I would like to do that on this model because this is easier for me to understand than this. Okay. Are they going 